Cheers everybody, g'day, Sonia Bernard here, linked by Ink, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And if you can hear a noise in the background, I apologise, my neighbour is cutting his grass and he's got his leaf blower out and all that, so you may hear that. Um, okay, so today I am posting this on June 29th, but for me, it is the day before Father's Day, which I think is the 17th, it's Saturday. And the reason I'm doing that is because if you watched last week, you'll see that I'm off on vacation. And so now when you're watching this, I am currently in Sedona, Arizona. So I'm not near my um, my craft room. And I, although I will have some craft things with me, paper pumpkins definitely going to come with me. So um, I am making some different things to show you. And I am going to have all the directions for you um, on my blog on my Facebook and in the description below, okay? Now, I usually come to you with a class every Thursday, but because I won't be here and I can't offer that class, I am offering a mystery box sale, and that's got two more days to go. So June 30th, tomorrow, is the last day of that sale, okay? Now, what does that mean, mystery box? A mystery box means you place an order with me um, a minimum order of $50 before shipping and tax using the host code down below in the description. You will receive, at a minimum, a mystery box of $30 or more. At a minimum, it'll be $30, okay? So you place that $50 order before shipping and tax. You're going to get a box that's got items in it. Now, Every box I send out will have one um, stamp set that's never been used, okay? It's new, it's not used. Um, it is retired. All merchandise is retired merchandise that I'm sending you. And then you'll get things like, there might be stamp sets, the ribbon, the embellishment, you know, there'll be different things in there. You might get some cards in there, you know, some handmade cards that I've made. You will. I'm going to spoil you. I am going to spoil you. A minimum of 30 it's probably going to be <laughs> more than 30 because I do have a lot of stuff and I do like to give. Um, my friends are always saying when I do classes, like in, in person, they're like, you give us too much. I'm like, well, oh, it's just me. I, that's how I am. It's how my heart goes and giving makes me happy. So, um, okay. So $50 or more before shipping and tax, you're going to get an order, um, a minimum mystery box of $30. $100. And your mystery box will be at a minimum 70. 150 minimum 100. You spend 300, you're gonna get at a minimum $250 free stuff. Okay? And gently used, and there'll be some there'll be some definitely new stuff in there. I've got retired ribbon, brand new rolls, I've got retired embellishment, so all boxes were different. All boxes will vary. You've got two more days. You've got today and tomorrow to get those orders in, and look in the um in the in the description for that host code. Okay. Now, um, if you can't place an order yet, uh, I will have a ordering special for you um for next week because I'm going to go ahead and do an ordering special as well instead of a class for July sixth. The week after that, I'll be back to regular scheduled free with purchase classes offering, okay? But for now, I am going to show you something using, this is like right now, you can't get this. July 6th, you'll be able to get it. It's an online exclusive, so demonstrators were able to pre-order. We're going to use this adorable, cute paper, and the actual name of the paper is One Horse Open Sleigh. And if you haven't seen, um, there's 48 sheets, and they're six by six, and there's four of each design, and they're double-sided, okay? Um, so there's like four of these, and then they all have a different pattern on the back. Um, if you want a sneak peek at that, and you didn't catch my last week's video, go check that out, and I show you all the all the pieces, okay? But for today, we are going to make um, a holiday gift card. But you could also take this and use it as a birthday gift card or a, um, a graduation. I mean, graduation just happened. Eh, you know, maybe you're running a little behind on, on getting those graduation gifts out to everyone. What is happening with my hair today? Okay, so 
or um, you could make this into a wedding, you know, thank you, uh, a gift card, sorry, a thank you. <laughs> Don't mind me, folks. Okay, I am going to do some things with this screen so that we can turn this down. I gotta press that button and press that button. I gotta turn it down, whoa. And then we're gonna wait a second while I pop up on here so I can see myself. And there I am. And it's, there's a 20 second delay with this thing. So this, um, it is a gift card holder and I got this from Heidi Collins, the, the layout, um, the measurements. Wait, I've got the video going. Sorry, I had my, I had my phone up. What a, oh yeah, yeah, okay. So this does bounce up, you'll see. See like that, there is a little bit of a bounce but I think it's still super cute. It's not a card, although I guess it could stand up, but it is a gift card holder, okay? And you could, it does, if you rest it up against something, um, it does work. Let me rest up against my glue thing so you can see. I don't know if you can see this. I'm trying to get it in frame there. So you can rest up against something, and it actually looks kind of cute. It looks like that when you're looking at it. So this is how it works. It opens up and here's where you write everything that you want to do. And it also holds cash. Now I did change the measurement for this as well. But um, I put happy holidays. I didn't want to take up anything on, you know, covering up this cute DSP up here. So I just put the sentiment on the inside. And again, this is stuff, if you don't have this paper, you're not going to join and you're not gonna you know get the paper you just don't like it it's too early for Christmas use some birthday paper use anything that you have floral paper go I mean you can here comes my kitty you can make it whatever you want okay um, I can't see anything cat <laughs> there's there's a tail <laughs> okay so let me let me show you how we made this hi baby um, yeah, you got to move. Thank you, sweetie. Okay. But I really like it because it's different and it just opens up and there's, there's the surprise in there. So you could also, um, you could probably put one of those chocolates in here, you know, square flat chocolate. What are they? Those Giardelli squares would fit in here wonderfully too. If you just wanted to, instead of giving cash to people, um, little tea bag, you could make it this into a, um, you know, hope you feel better soon, you know, and put maybe some tea in there. So, you know, use your imagination and you can make whatever you want from that. Okay, we've got real red cardstock. And this is, um, we've got a base. Okay, this is five and a half by four and a quarter. And again, I am going to put all these in a PDF tutorial for you. And then we've got nine and three quarters and that's by four and a half and we're going to score it at three and a quarter and six and a half all right then we're going to need some pattern paper and our pattern paper is going to be five and a quarter by four that's our base this one sorry five and a quarter by four and then we're going to need another piece that's going to go on the inside on the top and this is four and a quarter by two and then we need one more piece and what I did was when I cut this piece off I had this piece extra so I just used this I was like why am I going to waste that so I just had a little bit of waste right there so um, this is, this is where I changed it to make it a, uh, four and a quarter by two. And then this is a four and a quarter by three, that white piece there. Okay. So all we do, let's make it so easy, breezy cover girl. If you're a se if you're a seasoned, um, Oh, I can't say cover girl. That's like, oh, sorry, copyright. Uh, just think that I'm advertising for you. Okay. <laughs> With no, not, not getting paid. Um, 
if, if you are a seasoned crafter and you know you can probably just look at that i just gave you the measurements and you can probably figure it out real quick it's not hard at all and that's what i love about this is you could make a bunch of these i mean think about um what you call it valentine's day i know it's a long way off but it's good to have a plan so we're just going to fold this over away from you and then fold it towards you so you're doing an accordion fold okay it's like that so away from you you've got it down there you want to like tuck it and then you want to fold it down in front of you okay tuck fold now all we do is glue that section to this so easy so easy and then we're gonna put this in the middle center as best you can and just making sure that it opens the right way okay then some cute DSP on the front and again this is um a four and a quarter by two i think yeah no i'm gonna double check that i feel like i'm giving you the wrong information because that's two that's a four and a quarter by three sorry this piece here is four and a quarter by three which is the same size as this white piece. Now, if you don't have some cute DSP here, you can get a white piece here, which is what um, that lady did, Heidi, and she stamped it and decorated this piece. Whereas I just went, huh, DSP, boom. <laughs> Let's do this the easy way, people. Let's make it cute and easy. So again, four and a quarter by three and that should fit just wonderfully into here there we go and then what I did with this now back in the day we used to have like the little punches the little circle punch right now we've got big circle punches and I wanted to make a notch like that and I'm like oh I wish and you know I can't use retired product so I folded that in half. I made a little pinch mark right there. So I knew where half was, right? And then, oh my gosh, look at this guy. That's a circle. The little ladybug. Now, here's the thing you want to be careful with. You're going to put this at an angle and see how you've already pinched it. So you can see what's the center there. And put it at an angle, but don't put it up in there. You don't want to get it up in there. You want to bring that down, angle it, use this part of the circle, right? And center it. Punch. Boom. I love it. There we go. And then all you're going to do is put a little bit of your glue just around the edge in the bottom just a little tiny bit and that edge if you wanted to use uh, the eighth of an inch um, tape you could do that too and then you're just gonna center that there easy breezy lemon squeezy then all I did for the sentiment what um oh sorry that was loud <laughs> clonk um i'm trying to remember the stamp set i used oh yeah now this is one that's available now and it's in um we have this brightest glow it may be online only it used to be see my little orange dot that means it was in the mini catalog from last season um so now it's the it's now part of the annual but it might be online but it's called brightest glow and labels a glow dies 
So the Labels of Glow dies has this long one in here, and that is what I used to cut out the sentiment, the bit for the sentiment. And then I used the Happy Holidays um, one to fit in there. Now, of course, you could change this birthday card, change the paper, you know what I mean. Make it your own. And if you do, go ahead and put it up on my Facebook. Okay, um, I want to see your versions. Sometimes there's a little dots in there, so you might have to get your pokey tool and just poke them out too. Okay. And then I have got, let me get my glasses on. I got the Memento Black Ink. And I actually, I actually have a spare just in case I mess this one up. <laughs> I pre-stamped it <laughs> just in case. So just got tap, 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 tap. And we are going to stamp and hopefully get it in the middle, coming up over it. Boom. Okay, that worked pretty good. And if you wanted to, you could do that in Night of Navy as well. I just did it in black. Actually, look, it came out thicker than that time. I pressed a little harder, came out a little thicker. Cool. And, of course, I forgot my dimensionals, so we're just going to pretend I have them. And you would put dimensionals. I put one, two, three, and I put that right there. And that's it. How quick and simple and cute is that? I absolutely am in love with this. Like, I want to make more. And I think I've, we've got a cute stamp set for when you're sick. Um, I think this would make a really cute little, just feel better soon with a little tea bag in there, a little, maybe a little chocolate in there. I mean, it's summer right now in the Northern Hemisphere. So, don't want to be sending. But it's winter in the Southern Hemisphere. I know not a lot of places get snow, but... You might have a birthday, a winter birthday, so you could turn this into a birthday thing too. Okay, don't forget, there's only two days left to join. That's It ends tomorrow, 30th of June, to join and get even more with your starter kit. Get $155 worth of products for only $99. You're going to get free shipping. You're going to get to join my team, which is a fun place to be. Um, I give... I give um, free PDF, so like if I was doing, you know, my card classes that I usually do every week, every PDF tutorial that I write up, I post in my um, Facebook group, so my team gets all of that for free, okay, it's a perk of being on my team, and then you get me whenever you need me, um, I'm pretty accessible, because I'm not a huge team, but we're growing, and we are coast to coast, and we're a great group of wonderful people with big hearts who love to craft. So if you want to save 20% on all your purchases, join my team now. Go ahead and look down in the description and um, we would love to have you. Okay, guys, well, you have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful 4th of July. And I will um, be back on July 6th with another card for you to make. Okay, guys, take care now. Bye.